Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. It is now just after the middle of March and U.S. housing starts for February have come out, giving us an idea of potentially what might be happening with the home building in uh, Canada and the U.S. for this upcoming spring building season. We also have had now that the true winter thaw is upon us and the lumber is moving across the continent as there had been quite a few delivery delays going on for the past few months during that uh, very harsh winter season that we have just had. So first, quickly to start with, Lumber prices have started to go up a little bit. As people who have looked at the website or been watching my videos recently, the beginning of this year, the prices were very stable, quite flat, and showing a very, very good uh, even trend line compared to the same time last year and even the same time two years ago. This is now providing stability for industry who uh, were coming out of all of the volatility and difficult things uh, in 2020 to 2022 with uh, because of the COVID and the changes to society and also because in British Columbia the uh, very harsh atmospheric river which knocked out transportation on the highway, the main highway coming south and the rail lines caused a problem at the port, slowed things down at the border. And it took a while after that to see where things have landed. Uh, at the same time, in uh, 2023 and into the end of last year, as the interest rates uh, for mortgages were going up, and that really slowed down the appetite for buying homes. As people know, I've explained in the past, Existing home sales pushes new home sales and an increase in new home sales pushes new housing construction. So in that context of right now, lumber prices are increasing at a normal seasonal time in advance of spring. We have the latest housing starts data, which is showing up. So the uh, total housing starts in the U.S increased over January. Single family starts, which is what we watch the most important for lumber, it is the largest component of new housing construction and uses the most wood. So lets us know very specifically for the forest industry and the sawmills, what is happening out there in the market for new housing construction, up 11% over January and uh, down slightly two or three percent over February of uh, 2024. So, and this is why we look at same month last year. The previous month data is important to see how is the trend right now, but it can be volatile and it does depend on the season. February is February, whether it's uh, this year or last year. And as we start getting into spring, there is usually an increase comparatively month over month when the better weather is upon us. And then again, conversely, by September and October coming back down. So we like to compare same month last year because we know what happened last year with lumber prices and see if that gives us a good idea of what is happening now with the housing construction and the lumber market. So while the numbers are up now in February compared to January, in January they were down compared to December. Uh, and I'm showing you the graphs in just a minute here. You'll be able to see that line ticking up and down. And also in comparison to my lumber prices, the trend, although of course the actual number is a little bit different, the trend lines match up quite nicely. And the reason I bring this up is because the data that we track at Madison's uh, 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices all across North America, east, west, south, is updated once a week for that week. 
So it's on time data. What is the price right now? The housing starts data and a bunch of the other macroeconomic data that comes out on a lag. We have now six weeks ago for in the middle of March, we have for February. And so the line on the graph for my lumber prices is a little bit ahead because we have the uh, lumber prices already now for the middle of March, while the uh, March housing starts data will come out one month from now. Don't miss out. Your competition and colleagues are already subscribing to the weekly Madison's Lumber Reporter dashboard. Get all the great data and functionality of the tool every week. So let's look at the graphs and I'll explain a little bit more into detail. So this graph is from 2021. Let's look uh, about halfway through 2023. As I was saying, it's looking a lot more stable and easy to recognize the trend. The blue line is the Madison's Lumber Prices Index. The purple line is total housing starts, like I was saying, up and down a bit at the end of last year, beginning of this year. And the green line is one unit housing, single family housing starts. Continuing here is the purple line, exactly the same data. and then the orange line is single family permits, the blue line once again, the index. And so single family starts uh, for February were up 11% to uh, 1.11 million units compared to January when it was 995,000 and was down just 2% from February 2024 when it was 1.13 million units. This data, do pause the video to have a look because it is current prices for the benchmark construction framing lumber uh, commodities compared to what was the recent and historical high and compared to the historical low. And it shows you some things that are in the past which we will probably never see again. Okay, and so it's early days yet. Uh, there's many months of construction season still to come upon us. On that note, and in conjunction with the housing starts, it's very important to point out now that just this past weekend was some extremely severe storm and much damage in the U.S. where uh, some areas of quite a high population but to find out right now the amount of destruction of actual homes is too early. There will be, without question, a lot of re-roofing needed. Just by looking very quickly, anyone can see the damage to roof, uh, trees falling on houses, roofs getting ripped off or partially uh, destroyed uh, all over in the uh, many states that these storms went through. Uh, so whether or not it is actual a total reconstruction of a house or re-roofing, that is still the lumber price, the lumber market that we are talking about. This will be in combination with whatever new housing construction there will be happening during this spring and summer. So there are also headwinds against more building as a lot of this uncertainty, things going on with employment or unemployment, uh, things with changes to government departments, um, services previously provided or uh, uh, either getting cancelled or changing, and a lot of flux. And so what this means for uh, people who might not feel confident that their uh, income is going to be a long term to commit to buying a new home or moving or anything like that. And so in realistically, given the combination of these past couple of years of rather muted housing construction and soft demand for home due to interest rate, and now uh, other changes coming, some of them quite drastic, confusion in on the trade front, uh, expectation normally would be right now a small blip of an increase in housing construction in this spring and early summer and then falling off. 
I would not expect any uh, huge amount of 2 million housing starts or anything like that to happen immediately this year. The fact of, for demographic, that the U.S. is underbuilt and Canada, uh, there have not been enough new housing units, whether single family or multi, to uh, take in as the population who is reaching first time home buyer age, uh, there is not enough. And that's been going on for a while now. So underpinning all of these year over year uh, variables and uh, statistics is the uh, unquestionable need for this amount of people becoming 30, 35 years old, buying a home. So the longer term forecast is much more rosy. So if you like what you see here, click like. So this video will get recommended to other viewers. Subscribe here on YouTube so you will be notified when we make another video. And if you need to know more than just this small snapshot of a little bit of an update that I make quickly once in a while, in the caption here is a link to fill out a form and you can get a sample. And we will send you the list of what is the 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices across North America that we track and what is the price for that week. We will also send you the commentary explaining why those prices have changed. This is all available for my customers who have a login to the dashboard and they see all that data. They don't need to watch me on YouTube and they can get it on Friday mornings every week when it's updated.